Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Niam to lovethatface.com and today we're going to test drive the Elman Cortex CO2 fractional and erbium laser. We're going to use this laser for several projects. We're going to do two cases of uh, erbium resurfacing for brown spots, one on a sedated patient and one on an awake patient. We're going to do two cases of fractional CO2 laser, again one on an awake patient one on a sedated patient. And then we're going to use the incisional handpiece for upper and lower This is a really uh, versatile machine. It has the computer generator to do uh, fractional laser resurfacing and uh, it uh, has a lot of different settings that allows you to adjust for anywhere from a uh, two-day recovery to probably a, a one-week recovery so for the fractional full foot face laser resurfacing that's the handpiece we use um, this is the erbium handpiece and this is uh, uh, the 2940 nanometer laser we use this for brown spots. Uh, I just do facial surgery, but you can use this for brown spots uh, anywhere on the body or uh, to smooth down uh, lesions or some minor mole removal. And uh, you can even use it for resurfacing. And then also the incisional laser. And this is what we use for blepharoplasty, mole removal, uh, different type of uh, ablations. We're going to be talking and about the erbium or the 2940 nanometer laser, uh, which is part of the uh, Elman Cortex sandstone platform. And uh, this is really nice for brown spots or uh, selected resurfacing applications. So we're getting ready to do a uh, facelift and some other cosmetic surgery, but she has some brown spots and we're going to treat them with the uh, Elman laser. This is the erbium and I have this at uh, 800 millijoules and it is a situation basically where you can do this uh, awake. This is really a, a, a painless situation. I'm going to show you on my own hand so it's there's really no uh, no pain with it. And that's what's nice about the erbium laser. You can expeditiously treat brown spots. We have a couple over here. Probably do two passes with this. You can really do three to five passes uh, on the average person, but you always want to be done some Botox in the crow's feet. We're getting ready to do some fillers in the cheek. And she's got uh, these large uh, lentigos or brown spots here. So we're going to use the erbium for this. So I'm doing two passes at uh, 800 millijoules at a uh, pulse rate right, of 4 Dr. Hertz. Joe and I am to here and we're talking about the Elman Cortex uh, CO2 fractional uh, laser with erbium and uh, this is our control panel. So over here are the choices of your various patterns. So for this procedure we're going to use a square pattern. We're going to use the biggest pattern which is 18 millimeters and we're going to use a density of 80 percent. Since this is fractional that means that it's not 100%. In other words, there's space between each little uh, laser column. There's untreated tissue, which is the basis of fractional. Our pulse duration is uh, three milliseconds. And the time between one pattern to the next pattern, if you keep the foot pedal depressed, is a half second. Uh, so we are in the uh, scanner mode. And we're going to uh, do some fractional facial resurfacing. So one of the nice things about an 18 millimeter spot size is it covers, uh, covers a lot of area here. And you want to make sure that the little waveguide posts are flat against the skin. You don't want them tipped. You want them to be perfectly flat. And you want to line up your squares so that there's no overlap and there's no underlap. So you can see that this will turn the turn that up a little bit. And you can actually see the square pattern. I'm turning it up on the 
laser and each time you turn it up it turns that off so I think you can see the square pattern on my hand and we'll go back here so using this large pattern size really expedites time now this patient is sedated but we frequently do this on awake patients as well we have stainless steel corneal eye shields in this patient, which is extremely uh, important. Anytime you do laser, you must protect the patient and the staff, and that includes uh, the actual laser beam and the smoke plume. So you can see my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight treated patches. It's very easy if you just line up your little red square. And I'm going to try and get a better, there we go, there's a, there's a better pattern for you. You can see that better. So all you have to do is lay that down so you don't overlap and you don't underlap you want to cover all the area and I'm tilting this a little bit so the camera can see it but remember you want to have this you want to have it pretty much level in both pods touching the skin So with this large spot size, it takes about 25 minutes, half hour to do a full face. And uh, yesterday we did this on an awake patient. Today we're doing it on a sedated patient because we're also doing blepharoplasty and cheek implants on this patient. And it's very important that once you put the pedal down, you don't move the laser. Otherwise, instead of these nice straight boxes, you'll get a squiggly, uncontrolled line. So you can see that the whole purpose of fractional resurfacing, if you look really close, you can see that there's treated area and untreated area. You also always have to be careful of people's eyebrows and eyelashes people will use the uh, erbium laser to burn off the uh, skin char and uh, I'm really not a big fan of burning off the skin char I think it serves as a biological dressing but we'll show you how that's done and it also helps homogenize any areas that you may have missed as the erbium is a pretty light laser so I like it more for brown spots and lesions but I'm just showing you the various applications basically that's our whole face we've not done around the eyes and uh, you get a little pinpoint bleeding here with fractional laser sometime the patient's awake Tina how was that? It was fine. All right she, she says it was fine she's tougher than I am mm -hmm. uh, but about what it was like it wasn't bad, the pain was tolerable, it was a little more tender over the lips and around the hairline, but it wasn't bad overall. And we put some ice on there between passes, that helped a little bit? Absolutely. Very good. Now we're going to put some restorative ointment on this. Uh, we can use Vaseline, um, there are a lot of products you can use. This happens to be the Skin Medica uh, Post Laser Kit. Uh, we use this a lot and I like it and this is uh, the restorative ointment and we'll put this on uh, continuously and she'll look uh, swollen and puffy tomorrow and this will mm -hmm. kind of turn brown and over the next uh, four days or so it'll heal and uh, we will follow this photographically. So that is the uh, full face fractional resurfacing with the Elman 
cortex laser. This is Dr. Joe and I am to love that face dot com. All right, so we're using the uh, Elman Sandstone Cortex laser here to make our upper bluff incision. And we're going to turn on, in a minute, we're going to turn on a smoke evacuator so, uh, to suction the smoke plume so you're not going to hear us talking here for a second. And you can see that it's a bloodless situation, which is great. And we want to get as much skin as we can. And uh, although we do take some orbicularis oculi. So that's our skin excision. And now we'll make an incision in the orbicularis oculi muscle. And some of our muscle has come off with the skin. Our next layer down is the orbital septum. And we're going to pick off some of this muscle. I usually take off about a four millimeter square of uh, orbicularis oculi muscle, or four millimeter rectangle, I should say. Now at this point, we're gonna look for our central fat pad. We'll do a little blunt dissection, and there's our fat pad on the central. We'll defocus the laser, which makes the spot size bigger and increases the coagulation power. And then if we're going to look for our medial or nasal fat pad. Now when you have bleeding like this, come on, you can defocus the laser and stop that bleeding. So we have like some little so. bleeding here and we'll defocus the laser. Now we'll get in here and locate our medial fat pad. I'll defocus the laser to increase the spot size. And at this point then we're done with our blepharoplasty and you can see there's, there's virtually no bleeding there. And what we'll do is we'll wipe this off with a wet gauze and the reason we do that is because when we use the Elman uh, radio wave or the laser it makes a little char on the skin and that'll make a dark line if you don't debride that char. So that's our upper laser assisted blepharoplasty with the Elman Sandstone Cortex CO2 laser set at 8 watts with the straight hand piece. Okay, so we are going to make our incision through the conjunctiva and capsule palpebral fascia. on the medial fat pad here first. You're doing fine, huh? Remembering that there's three fat pads in the lower. Go back here a little bit. Okay. 
and we're on 6 watts on the super pulse mode with 150 micron handpiece. This is our uh, central fat pad. And we're approaching our lateral fat pad now. You're doing fine. Okay. So you can see that our incision uh, has no char, there's no bleeding, and it approximates very nicely. So that's our lower transconjunctival blepharoplasty.